Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss about uh, Logica SMPP Simulator, how to bind a client application with the server application. Uh, in Logica SMPP Simulator, there is a server application and a default uh, client application. So I will be showing you how the server and client application bind and simulate uh, the SMPP request response. So before that friends, uh, here I have already uploaded another video related to Logica SMPP Simulator. Here I have mentioned from where to download and how to install SMPP server and SMPP client. So today I am going to demonstrate uh, how the SMPP client will bind, the, bind with the SMPP server. So basically here I have uploaded more videos related to SMPP and SMS so get a detailed idea of how SMPP works, what is SMPP and then you go for the simulator part. So once you understand all this, the logical flow of the uh, SMPP then it will be easy to understand the simulator. So this bind and uh, bind request I have already discussed here so today I am going to show practically how a simulator can be useful to uh, send a bind and unbind request to SMPP uh, server. So these are basically <coughs> almost similar like uh, uh, simulating the SMSC and uh, SMPP client, uh, client server application here. So friends, let's show you how it works. So basically I already uh, showed in my previous video how to install the SMPP server and the SMPP client. So now I am here in the in my application here I have uh, two windows open. So one is uh, one is server another is client. So I already showed you where the how to uh, install and run the SMPP server and client. So both of these are on single server only, single system only. So I am starting the first time starting the SMPP server. So SMPP server has multiple options like start simulation, stop simulation, this client, all these options are there, send messages. So I am not going to discuss the send message part today. I am just going to show you how to uh, how to do the bind ap bind application so bind is a part of smpp message so how this bind and unbind works with the simulator this i am going to demonstrate so let's first <coughs> so before bind application you have to first start the smpp uh, server so i have started the application now with uh, before starting the simulation you have to uh, start the application so here i can mention any of the port where this server will be listening the SMPP request. So let's assume any port is fine. You can put the default port also. So I am putting like just 77. Before that let's uh, uh, let's see here one thing. So I'm just uh, checking this 7722 port is uh, used by any other application or not. So I am assigning this port to server 7722. So, so here it started listening to listening on this port. So now let's see where, how uh, the same thing. So you can see that this uh, this SMPP server has opened this port uh, in listen mode. So here the server already started. Now let's start the SMPP client. So I already showed you in my previous video how to start the SMPP client. So here I'm starting the SMPP client. So here I have started the SMPP client. So <coughs> here uh, what I want to do is as my uh, server and client on same system so here I am just doing a bind operation SMPP bind operation with the server so here my server is running here my client is running so I am starting so uh, so it asks for few options like uh, uh, which I already described like whether you want to start it in async or synchronous mode so I want to go with async mode so 
transmitter receiver or transceiver bind client you want to create this all i have described in my earlier videos uh, where i have shown you so let's uh, start for transceiver so here are the options how to start so i am starting it as transceiver so as my client and server are on same system so i am putting the uh, uh, loopback ip here so port number so port number i have opened here is 7722 port so 7722 so i am mentioning the same port here 7722 so system ip there are few uh, server and few uh, few of the uh, few of the users are already created default user so this is one default user i am using pavel and password is these are already WPST. So these are already hard coded password. These are default users uh, for this testing purpose. And uh, system type is Logica. Let's connect only. So here you can see that the bind request is sent and bind response is received, which is mentioned that the bind request and response are successful. So here in server, you can see that it received a bind request with Pavel and it got uh, successfully registered so bind request is successful here so so i am just uh, listing the clients how many clients are now uh, so you can see that this pavel uh, pavel user is already bind with the server so this is how the bind request works so so you can see that once the uh, Bind request happens, uh, enquire links messages are exchanged between client and server. So, server is uh, enquiring the link, uh, enquire link request response is uh, sent by the client. So, this is how this bind request is useful here. So, it's just a simulation. Here you can think like this server is an SMSC server and this is your client. So, you can Whenever you are building a client, you can start this uh, start this SMTP server, and you can replace this client with your application, and you can test all these applications whether it's working or not. Then you can put this application with the SMSC, real SMSC, to test it out because these are just simulator purposes. So you can easily test your application, which uh, application that you build with this server, or if you are building a client. If you are building a server, you can use these clients to test your server application or vice versa. So this is how it works. So now the bind bind request you already checked that the it sent a bind request and where link happening between the two server and client. Now I can send the unbind request to unbind this uh, client. So nine there's the nine option is for unbind request. So it got unbind. So here you can see on server end, it got an unbind request, client request. So it stopped sending. Uh, so here you can see that the uh, unbind is successful and enquire link also uh, not happening anymore. So this is how this bind and unbind request works with the SMPP simulator. So friends, I already captured during this testing, I already captured a trace uh, how this, uh, what happened between this server and client. So here I have filtered this trace with uh, bind transceiver. So it's basically how to capture the trace while uh, I just run a TCP dump and just run a TCP dump and I did this bind and unwind request and I captured the traces in this uh, trace package in this trace. So now here I have uh, here I have filtered it with the SMPP uh, protocol. So here you can see that the uh, request sent with bind transceiver. So as it is loopback IP, so here the loopback IPs are shown. So here you can see that the request is sent with Pavel, password is WPST, 
system type is logical and version is 3.4 and all these details are there so when the response is called then the entire link happens then I send an unbind request and unbind is also successful so friends this is how this uh, SMPP simulator works uh, how the bind request works so in my next video I will be showing you how this how to send these various SMSs like submit SM, submit multi SM, data SM, query SM. All these are here. So these already described in my earlier videos. So friends, this is all about Logica SMPP simulator. Next section, I will be describing more about other messages, how to simulate all these messages. So friends, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here you can subscribe to my channel and uh, get the latest updates when I will be uploading more videos you will be getting more updates here so friends thanks for watching so here I have uploaded more videos related to other uh, telecom protocols like CWF and RTP, SS7 programming, SS7 and SMS related videos, SS7 part of the SMS then C, C++ related videos, OpenSip related videos, and CP traffic testing rule, uh, traffic testing related videos, and here more related to SMPP, OIRTC, and client server programming. And presently, I am uploading this Logica SMPP related videos. So, friends, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this. Thanks, friends. Thanks for watching.